Nothing in the kitchen with Matt. Nothing in the kitchen today. Nothing in the kitchen with Matt. Let's see when I'm a me. This is my time to shine. And Monday is my birthday. To celebrate my birthday, I'm making my famous banana cake with chocolate ganache filling and caramel frosting. I'm washing my hands as they be clean, drying my hands to stay nice and dry. Here's what you will need for this cake. Bananas, Baking soda, baking powder, salt, eggs, buttermilk, vanilla, pecans, flour, sugar, oil. In order to make dairy free buttermilk, all you need to do is take almond milk and if you don't have apple cider vinegar, you can use lemon juice instead. I really use a knife to chop the pecans very small. The oven gets set at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Time to put the dry ingredients right into the bowl. Sugar. Baking soda, salt, and baking powder, and the flour. Nice movement, huh? I'm mashing the bananas before I add all the ingredients into the bowl. I added the buttermilk into the bananas and have some in the vanilla. and the eggs and the oil I'm putting this in the sink now and now it is time to mix the boy mix together here I go. I'm starting on low now. Now I'm blending it all together. I'm pouring the white mix right into the dry mix. I'm mixing, I'm mixing. This mix needs to get combined. Now it's going to become. I'm adding the pecans onto the nice and distributed. I am putting the cake batter right into the oil, oiled round cake pan. I am putting half in one and half in the other and into the second cake pan. Into the oven for 30 minutes. Kitchen timer. Three, zero, enter. Yay! My offset spatula makes it very even and smooth. When it comes out of the oven, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. The banana cakes are out of the oven. They love to use the juice and they smell. Today we're gonna make a chocolate ganache that only uses two ingredients, chocolate and coconut milk inside the banana cake. I'm putting the chocolate in. Now I'm gonna add the coconut milk. I have it on at medium heat and I'm gonna stir it until it's nice and melty. I had a 
coconut right into the right into the pot with chocolate chips. Stirring it until it's nice and creamy smooth. This is the lazy Susan, and I have a cake board on it, and then I have the cake on it. There's some ganache on it, and then I'm going to make my way into this corner right here. Three corners and an edge. This is how it looks when it's spread onto the cake. This is the ganache filled cake. Now we are going to make the coma frosting to go on top and sides and the bottom of the cake. You will need powdered sugar, coconut oil, brown sugar, vanilla, coconut milk. I'm pouring in the coconut oil. I am adding the brown sugar right now, and then I am going to let it bubble. I'm gonna stir it until it bubbles on the medium heat. I am baking up the clumps until it's a smooth and melted consistency. I am mixing all the ingredients together and I just added the vanilla, the coconut milk, the powdered sugar, the brown sugar, and the coconut oil. I'm turning it to get all the mix together. Spreading the frosting under the cake was the help of the Lazy Susan. Thank you, Netta. I'm here at Shea Netta, and we have a. It looks like a birthday cake that's a surprise. Yeah. And it has two layers, one layer each for 10 years. So it's a 20 year cake. How is that cake, Netta? <laughs> <laughs> How many bananas are in here? I feel like this is 100. Three. Three bananas. Yeah. How do you get so much banana flavor out I of three know. bananas? This is amazing. It is nice and moist. I love that. It's so moist. Thank you, Netta. I'm going to eat my cake. This is the best banana cake I've ever had. <laughs>